If you were anything like me, you love nature. But not just any kind of nature. No, you and I love biomes. Fully fleshed out ecosystems brimming with flora and fauna. But unfortunately, you may not have the time, the money, or the wherewithal to go and experience them. And that is where I come in. In this video series, we are going to attempt to simulate the Kalahari Desert from the comfort of our own home. So let's get started. First step in our Kalahari Desert Biome simulation will be to choose our enclosure. And I've chosen this 18 inch by 24 inch by 12 inch Exoterra. This should give us enough room to add multiple mini ecosystems inside of one larger mini biome. Once we have our enclosure picked out, the next step is to add some substrate. And because we've wanted to be as scientific as possible, we need a substrate with a similar soil pH. Not only do we need the right soil pH, we'll also need that soil to be fast draining because these plants are all succulents. All right, everybody, we've got our succulent fast draining soil in there and our sand, so let's uh, get into mixing. Hey, there's now let's introduce our South African Kalahari Desert plants. But before we do, let me show you how much I paid for them. That's right, guys, you can get South African succulent plants at your local hardware store. Is it just me or do I just want to buy every one of these things? And after parsing through this bounteous cornucopia of succulent plants, I found four that are related to South Africa and the Kalahari Desert. About 38 bucks. First up, we have the jade plant, AKA the lucky plant, money plant, or money tree, scientific name, Crostulata ovata. This little devil's native to the Eastern Cape provinces of South Africa and Mozambique. She's an evergreen branch succulent shrub that can grow up to eight feet tall. Well, what's fun about this little guy is upon maturation, it's gonna produce small white or pink star-like shaped flowers in the winter. It requires very little water in any season. Fire is high drainage and porous substrate or it can die from root rot. Minimum four to six hours of direct sunlight and the leaves are even considered medicinal in some South African regions. And thus we shall name her Ursula. Next up we have the elephant bush. She's a semi evergreen upright shrub native to South Africa. She can grow eight to 15 feet tall. Prefers dry rocky outcrops and slopes. And the most fun thing about the elephant bush is she's a source of food for large herbivores like the black rhinoceros and African elephant. She can also be used as a bonsai plant. She's also referred to as the speck boom in Afrikaans. Scientific name, Portolacaria afra. And we shall call her Scruffy. Our third succulent for our South African Kalahari desert biome is the Senecio vitalis, the narrow leaf chalk sticks. This awesome spreading evergreen succulents native to the Eastern Cape of South Africa. She can grow up to 18 to 24 inches high and up to three to five feet wide. And unlike most other succulents, she's a winter grower and she's dormant in the summertime. We're gonna name this little plant right here Funkadelic Earl. Our fourth and final plant is called the String of Bananas. Scientific name, Senecio roticans. Native to the Cape Province of South Africa, Namibia, and Lesotho. Member of the plant family, Asteracea. This plant thrives in the arid South African desert, specifically the Karoid Central Region. Pretty appropriate for a Kalahari Desert biome. And I'm particularly excited about this one because it is going to produce small cinnamon scented white flowers in late winter, early spring. We're naming this plant Fatty Magoo. And now it comes to this, time to plant. I'm gonna put each of these in the four corners of the mini biome. Just look at that boy work. Well, that boy's got long, lanky arms to be able to put all them plants in there. There's just something that's just so fun about having a green thumb or two. So much green. Look at what we have here. This is gonna be awesome. I don't know if I've ever been this excited in my entire life. All right, gonna put the lid on it now. Put our handy dandy sunlight UV light on it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the makings of an extravagant adventure. This is gonna be a fun one. Next step is to do some research on how long the days are right now over there in South Africa. Once I have that date, I'll incorporate it into this timer and we will go from there. But yeah, I'll include that data in the next video. But with respect to data, here is the average precipitation and temperature for the last 30 years down there. 
So right now we're in April, so we're looking at 18.44 degrees Celsius, 65.19 degrees Fahrenheit, and 32.72 millimeters of precipitation. So in the next video, I'll show you guys how I measure out that water and uh, distribute it, and we will adjust the thermostat accordingly. Now, we have two prospects for our first animals. Now, the first prospect for our bioactive Kalahari Desert biome is going to be the Harpectera pulchropes tarantula. They are endemic to the region, and I think it would make a great apex predator to put in there. They also do really well in dry climates. The other option is the orange, hairy, thick tail scorpion. And the scorpion is native to the region as well. Scientific name Parabuthus bullosus orange. Extremely venomous scorpion, one of the most venomous scorpions in the world. So you guys let me know in the comments if you would like to see this scorpion or the tarantula as the first animal that we introduce in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.